Hello and welcome to the roundup of this week's edition of the Engineering News and Mining Weekly magazine, published on Friday, 29 July 2022. In this week's cover article, Engineering News and Mining Weekly senior deputy editor Irma Fenter writes that a local retailer's last mile deliveries will be made by solar charged electric panel vans. Retailer Woolworths has announced that it will start rolling out electric panel vans in partnership with logistics group DSV and mobility specialist Everelectric to deliver its customers' online purchases in Gauteng, Cape Town and Durban. The engineering news features focus on locomotives, railway tracks and wagons, where Gibella unveils its 100th train set. Automotive industry, where the Automotive Business Council says the pace of recovery in the market outperformed expectations during the first quarter of 2022. And project management, where South African Council for Project and Construction Management Professions implements measures to verify qualifications. The Mining Weekly features focus on Central and East African mining and industry, where a company's expertise wins at a multi-million rand project and iron ore, where the global market is projected to reach 2.5 billion tonnes by 2026, according to analysts. This week's business leader is Mustafa Soilu, Regional Director of Archlick for Sub-Saharan African Countries and CEO of DeFi Appliances. And as this week's cartoon shows, South Africa has had several run-ins with the European Union over the past number of years with regard to the bloc's trade rules governing citrus. The most recent dispute relates to a stipulation that South African oranges be subjected to cold treatment of between 0 and minus 1 degree centigrade for at least 16 days before export to the EU to mitigate the risk of European producers of false codling moth. South Africa has questioned the science behind the move and its rapid mid-season implementation, while the Citrus Growers Association has warned that exports worth 600 million rand could be affected. We hope you enjoy this week's edition of Crema Media's Engineering News and Mining Weekly. Be sure to subscribe to the magazine that offers you in-depth news about developments in the real economy by emailing subscriptions at engineeringnews.co.za. Happy reading and see you next time.